and we bless the name of Jesus. I want to take this opportunity to welcome each and every one of you to Shiloh Worship Center, the place of breakthrough. It's so nice to see you. You know, in such a weekend, unashangani nani atakam church. Kuna watu wakovasha pale. It's important for us to not to ignore these things because we have our people there. Some of our brothers and sisters are there and therefore we pray for them. Thank you so much for those who came back from Vasha to attend uh, our service today. We bless the name of Jesus. Blessed be the name of the Lord. It's not in vain. We want to welcome our students who are in for their midterm. Would you celebrate them? Would you celebrate them? Amen. Blessed be the name of Jesus. And you celebrate, would you celebrate yourself also for being here? Amen. As you have your seats, as you have your seats, you may have your seats. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Make sure Jirani Ambayo Miketi Karibu Naya Konaroya Kanisa. There will not be an hindrance to the move of God. And Akama Villa to Nasemanga Mapema and your best, you better change them right now. As early as now, blessed be the name of Jesus. Buenas fue sana. Buenas fue sana. You're welcome. It's an amazing week. My name is Paul Monene. I want to take this opportunity to thank God and honor God for the grace of God in this house. Our Bishop and our Bishop Jimmy and Pastor Alice, would you celebrate them even in the absentia? And our pastors, Pastor Beatrice, and every pastor who is here. Honor, we honor God for you. Thank you for this great opportunity to bring the word of God. Some of our pastors are in Zambia, led by our bishop. We also continue to pray for them that the Lord shall use them mightily in the name of Jesus and that the Lord shall uh, continue using them there in the name of Jesus. And therefore, are you ready for the word? Are you ready for the word? Blessed be the name of the Lord. The Bible says that the entrance of the word brings light and therefore this morning i pray for you in the name of jesus as the word comes forth may you receive light in the name of jesus that every darkness may it be illuminated in the name of jesus buenas fue sana buenas fue sana as i was praying for this service um the topic for today shall be a prayer and the prayer is that lord may you enlighten the eyes of my understanding and I pray in the name of Jesus that even as we move on with the learning and the teaching of the word, that our spirit man will be fired up to pray that Jesus, may you open up the eyes of our understanding. And I'm in mean, 2 Kings chapter number 6, verse number uh, 8 to 18. 2 Kings chapter number 6. 2 Kings chapter number 6, verse number 8 to 18. Maybe our sound people, there is... Um, a distortion you can help us there's a distortion uh, it will be good for us bonus for sana let us read it together now the king of syria was making war against israel uh -huh. and he consulted with his servant saying my camp will be in such and such a place a uh harvest -huh. number nine and the man of God sent to the king of Israel, saying, Beware uh -huh, that you do not pass this place, mm -hmm, for the Syrians are coming down there. Verse number 10. And the king of Israel sent someone to the place of which the man of God had told him. This is Elisha that is being... Uh, mentioned here. Uh -huh, let us continue. Thus he warned him, and he was watchful there, not just once, or twice verse number 11 therefore the heart of the king of syria was greatly troubled by the thing uh -huh. and he called his servant and said to them will you not show each of us is of or is for the king of israel uh -huh. let us continue and one of his servants said none my lord uh -huh, but elisha the prophet who is in israel uh -huh. Tell the king of Israel that the words you speak in your bedroom. Verse number 13. He said, go and see where he is that I may send and get him. And it was told, it was told him saying, surely is he, he is in Dothan. Uh -huh. Let us continue. Verse number 15. 14. Uh -huh. Therefore he sent horses and chariots and a great army uh -huh. and they came by night and surrounded the city verse number 15 and when the servant of the man of god rose early 
and went out, there was an army surrounding the city with the horses and chariots. And his servant said to him, Alas, my servant, what shall we? A harvest number 16. So he answered, Do not fear for those uh -huh, are more than those who are with. Let us read that verse again. And let, let, let us read that verse again. Uh -huh, one, two, three. So he answered, Do not fear for those who are with us are more than those who are with them. Look at your neighbor and tell them, neighbor, those who are for you, they are more than those who are against you. Therefore, do not fear. Uh -huh, our last verse, verse number 18. Verse number 18. Uh -huh. And Elisha prayed and said, Lord, I pray, open his eyes that he may do what he may see. Then the Lord opened the eyes of the young man, and he, so blessed be the name of the Lord, for it was a young man. And behold, the mountains was full of horses and chariots of fire all around Elisha. Holy Spirit of the living God, we welcome you in this place. How I pray that Jesus shall speak to us, open the eyes of our understanding, minister to our souls and our spirits. I surrender myself unto you. I pray that you may give me utterances in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray that every heart, every mind in this place shall be subject to the power of God in the name of Jesus. And Lord, you shall be glorified and lifted in the name of the Lord. Receive all the praise in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We say that we are working on a topic named Lord. Open the eyes of my understanding. Oftenly, when you read this through the scripture in the Old and the New Testament, where understanding is mentioned, it is not mentioned alone. It is it has some other three brothers, and the brothers are knowledge, wisdom, understanding, and revelation. And therefore it will be injustice for us to look at the word understanding and leave the other three brothers who is knowledge, wisdom, because they really go hand in hand. And they will be a primary place. They will be so important for us also to understand what is understanding. So starting, starting with, we really need to know what is knowledge, what is wisdom, what is understanding. And I want to take you to class. Are you ready to learn? Are you ready to learn? Look at your neighbor and ask and look and check whether they have a writing place somewhere to write Bonas Fesana and ask them whether they are ready to learn. Therefore, when we talk about knowledge, that's the place where we start. Knowledge is information. Knowledge is information. Knowledge is awareness. Blessed be the name of Jesus. And, the, and scripture says that in Isaiah chapter number 33 and verse number 6, that wisdom and knowledge will be the stability of our times and will be the strength of our salvation. Therefore, blessed be the name of Jesus. And scripture continues, telling, uh, continues to tell us that you shall know the truth and the truth shall do what? Set you free. Therefore, you can write this down if you're writing down that the degree of your freedom is directly proportional to the degree of the knowledge that you have. The freedom that you have is directly proportional, blessed be the name of Jesus, to the knowledge that you have, the true knowledge. If you want financial freedom, we need to look to search for what? The knowledge concerning the, the same, blessed be the name of Jesus. If you want, uh, if, if you are looking uh, forward to have a relationship and to understand Ah, uh, some dynamics about the relationship. We really need to do what? To search for knowledge. Scripture continues telling us in Daniel chapter number 11 and verse number 32 that they that know their God, uh, they shall be what? Strong. And they shall do what? Exploits. Therefore, what do we learn about knowledge? That the strength that you have is also directly proportional to the knowledge that you have. Buenas sana. That your strength your strength is directly proportional. The strength, your financial strength is directly proportional to the knowledge that you have about finances. The strength in your relationship, it is directly proportional. You know, there are some of us we are dating and we know nothing about relationship. We know nothing about women. We know nothing about men. Therefore, we, we, we do not have the strength. There are those of us who are looking forward to get married. The strength in your marriage is directly proportional to the knowledge that we have. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Therefore, we have said knowledge is freedom and knowledge is strength. Help me preach to your neighbor and tell them, neighbor, 
knowledge is freedom and knowledge is strength look for another neighbor who looks like uh, they are getting whatever i'm saying and tell them neighbor knowledge is freedom and knowledge is strength blessed be the name of jesus therefore as as young people it is important for us to do what to look for knowledge to search for knowledge gonga jirani mwambie search for knowledge bwana search for knowledge concerning relationship search for knowledge gonga mtu mwambie neighbor search for knowledge concerning finances search for knowledge be a knowledge sahusika hivyo tu kama dogo modhi search for knowledge bwana swe sana so that you can be a strong young man a strong young lady blessed be the name of jesus therefore if knowledge is information understanding you can write this down understanding is comprehension understanding is comprehension understanding is comprehension now after you've searched for knowledge for it to be of help to you this is where understanding comes in bwana swe sana and in proverbs chapter 4 and verse number 7 scripture says that wisdom is a pro- is a principal thing but in all you're getting get what understanding so for the knowledge for you for for the knowledge that you have to be useful to you what you need to do is to seek for understanding look at your neighbor and tell them neighbor understanding is comprehension this is the information that you have becoming part of you not just your, not just putting it in your mind but it being part of you blessed be the name of jesus understanding brings clarity understanding brings clarity today we are in for some learning before we get to that story of elisha understanding brings clarity understanding brings light bwana swe sana understanding brings clarity and understanding brings light i we started we said inform, uh, knowledge is what information knowledge is strength knowledge is freedom understanding is what comprehension that is good for your twitter and your ig page you can write there and write shiloh worship center hashtag shiloh worship center bwana swe sana therefore if understanding is comprehension wisdom is application you can write it down wisdom is application bwana swe sana wisdom is application for you to for we to call you wise person it is not how much you know but it is how much you have applied in your life bwana swe sana and that's why not all you can you can write this down not all knowledgeable people are wise but all wise people are knowledgeable you can write it down also that is good for your instagram page not all knowledgeable people are wise but all wise people are, that are what knowledgeable why the difference is comes in what application that's why we have doctors who tell us do not uh, consume alcohol uh-huh. but wow when they use it and they succumbed to the effects of using alcohol what is the difference application they are knowledgeable people but they are not wise people because whatever they have the information that they have they have not understood it they have not comprehended it to use it bwana swe sana therefore number one knowledge is what information come on say with me knowledge is what information with uh, understanding is what comprehension and wisdom is application one more time knowledge is information eh uh-huh. wisdom is application and understanding is what comprehension therefore it is important for us even as we pray this prayer that lord may you open up the eyes of our, of our understanding is that the knowledge that we f- we find in scripture we may comprehend it the knowledge that is in scripture is in the word of god that we may be able to comprehend it that it may become part of us and far above becoming part of us that we may also be able to apply it in our day to day lives bwana swe sana because the truth of the matter mahali kizungumkuti inakuja ni pale kwa kuapply most of the time we know let me ask you but do not raise your hand how many don't know that consumption of alcohol is harmful to your health usinoe mkono bwana swe sana how many do not know that fornication is sin how many do not know okay let me come closer how many do not know that unprotected sex can lead to pregnancy how many do not know we all know that but tricks it is when it comes to do what 
application in a, I mean am I in the youth service can we talk kama, can I come close home eh hey, jameni watu wa Mungu ama mnaniangalia ni kama hizi vitu si nikuja tusituongeleshane ndio tusaidiane kizungumkuti inakuja hapo kwa fire nini gonga jirani mwambie application maze and it's because we have not comprehended it we have not it has not become part of us and and that's why <laughs> buona's first sana you know there's a friend of mine who who tells me that they, they, I, i am praying for them to to get born again they are dating and uh wana sema periods ikikama wanapiganga sherehe but after all the tension and all the stresses they still go back to that and there are some of us we are here there is no condemnation but i pray in the name of jesus may the eyes of your understanding be opened up blessed be the name of jesus when we are talking about the eyes of understanding be opened up this is why we tell our friends who are in toxic relationships we don't tell them kwani haujui akupendi we don't tell them that we tell them kwani auoni ah si tuongeleshane watu wa mungu jameni what do we tell them kwani hau hauoni hauoni haupendi jameni hauoni ufunge virago vyako uende jameni kwani hauoni haupendi we don't say kwani haujui the chances are most of us we know we have the knowledge but the eyes of our understanding are closed up that we are not able to comprehend and to apply i pray for somebody today Maybe you're in that toxic relationship. I pray in the name of Jesus, may the eyes of your understanding be opened up. May the eyes of your understanding be opened up. May the eyes of your understanding be opened up. We all know, let me use this other example. Let me come close home. We all know that abortion abortion is is can 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 destroy our whole destiny can you can try to abort and in you know, a remove even your, your own uterus we all know that do do we know that but still the percentage of abortion still in our hospitals is quite high it's because the eyes of our understanding they are not opened I'm speaking these things because I'm in a, in, I'm in, a, in the youth service and I pray in the name of Jesus for each and every one of us may the eyes of our understanding be opened up and that is a prayer that we want to make this morning Bwana swe sana that the eyes of our understanding be opened up that we may see opportunities that we may see opportunities that we may see what god has in store for us that we may get clarity bwana swe sana that we may receive light that comes from above blessed be the name of jesus i we are in class knowledge is what come on talk to me knowledge is information eh uh-huh. understanding is comprehension and wisdom is application look at your neighbor and tell them neighbor be a knowledge seeker look for another neighbor and tell them neighbor may you get understanding and look for another neighbor and tell them neighbor wisdom may you apply blessed be the name of jesus somebody say amen and that's why scripture jesus comes and says in in luke chapter number 16 and verse number 8 that the sons of the world are wiser than the sons of the light the sons of this world are wiser than we the sons or the children of light the difference is in application the difference is in application we have not comprehended it enough for us to apply it blessed be the name of jesus may we be found wiser i pray for myself as i pray for you this morning that in the name of jesus christ may we receive light may we comprehend the word of god that we shall be counted wise those of us who are in school i pray for you in the name of jesus may you be counted knowledgeable may you be counted uh, as a person of understanding may you be counted as a person of wisdom in the name of Jesus Christ somebody say amen and that's why when the scripture was describing Daniel Meshach and Abednego he did not leave any of the aspect they say they were men of knowledge they were men of understanding and they were men of wisdom in other words they were men who had information they were well knowledgeable they were men who had comprehension the men who had clarity men who walked in light and far above that they are men who are able to apply that which they had bwana swe sana go nga jirani one more time and tell them wisdom knowledge understanding look for another neighbor who looks like they are ready for the word and tell them wisdom knowledge and understanding 
Blessed be the name of Jesus. Understanding gives us insight. You can write that down. Understanding gives us insight. And I can tell you this for free. You can take it home. That there are very many people who have their eyesight, but they do not have the insight. There are so many people when you're on they are not blind people. They can see. They have the eyesight, but they, like, they lack the what? The insight. Seeing above our eyes. Blessed be the name of Jesus. And that is the case in the story of the servant. In that story that we've read in 2 Kings chapter number 6. This is a story of um, Elisha. The king of Israel was, in, uh, was at war with uh, the king of Syria. But you see, the king of Israel was always ahead because he had prophet Elisha. And this really disturbed Elisumbua Sana. Uh, the king of Syria, he was wondering, and then he was told that there is no one who is betraying them, but it is prophet Elisha who is in Israel, who is always above, uh, 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 is always ahead of them and telling them that, that uh, telling them the moves that they are making. And this greatly troubled the king of Israel. Blessed be the name of Jesus. And therefore, what did he do? He sent, he sent for uh, armies, to go where Elisha was, one as fierce Anna. And therefore, if we read verse number 17, would you give it unto us? Verse number 17 of the same scripture. Verse number 17. Early in the morning, the servant wakes up and he finds, he finds that they are surrounded. The, verse number 16, let's go back. He finds that they are surrounded by, uh, uh, verse number 15, by armies. And this is what he says. Verse number 15, let us read it together. Uh -huh. And when, when the servant of the man of God arose early and went out, there was what? An army uh -huh, surrounding the city with horses and chariots. And this servant said to him, Alas, master, what shall we do? Uh -huh. Verse number 16. So he answered, Do not fear, for those who are with us are more than those who are with them. Verse number 17, what does the scripture say? And Elisha pray that, Lord, I pray, open is... Let me ask you a, qu a question. Was that servant blind? Come on, talk to me. Was that servant blind? But the eyes of his understanding, they were closed up. He had the eyesight, but he did not have the insight. And therefore, most of us, we have the eyesight. We believe whatever we see on the outside, and we lack the insight to see things in the spirit. Blessed be the name of Jesus. And therefore I pray for us in the name of Jesus like Elisha prayed for his servant. May the eyes of our understanding be opened up in the name of Jesus Christ. I said may the eyes of our understanding be opened up in the name of Jesus. Look at your neighbor and tell them, neighbor, you may have the eyesight but lack the insight. And that's why we, we, fall in, we, we, we fall in the wrong things. We, got, we get to wrong jobs. We get to attach to the wrong people. Because all we use is our eyesight. But we do not have an insight. That's why we get into bad deals. Because our insight is closed. Because all you want is tall, dark, and... Come on, talk to me. All you want is tall, dark, dark and... But maybe... In that tall, dark, and handsome in the eyesight, there are so many things in the inside that you do not know. Ah, uh, Buona Maybe you want a speaker who speaks eloquently, but you see, there is the inside, there is something that is way beyond that. Buona Swesana. Gonga Jirani Mwambie, get an insight. I pray, may you get an insight. Look for another neighbor and tell the neighbor, may you get an insight. May you not just walk by sight, but walk with an insight. I pray may we get an insight because in it we find clarity, understanding, understanding. Therefore, this man was not a blind man, but he was a man who could, who could see. There are very many people who we, are, we have our eyes. We are not blind, but we are headed to the wrong direction. We are walking to the wrong direction, but we can see. Buona sue sana. And this scripture, we relate it to our lives out here. There is a lot of noise. 
People talking about how life is hard, how the economy is hard. Blessed be the name of Jesus. How there are no jobs. But I pray for us as the children of God who walk in insight. I pray may we know that those who are for us are more than those who are against us. Buona May we walk believing that there are jobs for us, that there are opportunities for us, that, that God knew that we would exist at, at a time like this. Buona sana. May we receive the insight. Lift up your hand and pray in the name of Jesus. Open up the eyes of my understanding. I receive an insight. I receive clarity. I receive light in the name of Jesus Christ. That I shall not walk by sight. But Jesus Christ, I shall walk in an insight. In the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for each and every one of us. May we receive clarity. Those of us who are praying and asking God who is the right person. Which is the way, oh God. I pray may the eyes of our understanding be open up in the name of Jesus. God's people said amen. God's people said amen. amen. The eyes of our understanding. The eyes of our understanding help us to see things differently. When the eyes of our understanding are opened up, we see things differently. We do not see defeat. We see victory. We do not see sickness. We see healing. We do not see frustration. We see opportunities. Look at your neighbor one, one more time and, 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 and tell them, may your, the eyes of your understanding be opened up. May the eyes of your understanding, may the eyes of your understanding be opened up. Blessed be the name of Jesus. And therefore, to wrap it up, I want us to look at uh, the benefits of walking, the benefits of having our understanding enlightened, the benefits of having the eyes of our understanding enlightened. You see, when Paul was headed to Damascus, when Paul was headed to, to Damascus, the light of God shone upon him and he became blind. He lost his eyesight, but he gained his insight he gained his insight and that's why the spirit of god uh, the, the jesus tells him that i send to you i send you to the gentiles that you may open up their eyes that you may move them from darkness to the light and therefore in ephesians chapter number one and verse number 15 if you could give it unto us ephesians chapter number one and verse number 15 i pray that may the eyes of my understanding be enlightened and let us read it together therefore i also after I've heard of your faith, come on, let us read together. Therefore, I also, after I've heard of your faith in the Lord Jesus and love for the saints, verse number 16, do not cease to give thanks for you, making mention of you in my prayers, verse number 17, that the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, may give to you the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of him. Verse number 18, uh -huh, that the eyes of your understanding be done what? Being enlightened. Number one, what is the benefit? That you may know what is the hope of his calling. Number one, when the eyes of your understanding are opened up, you get to know what is the hope of his calling. Buona sana. What is the hope? I don't know uh, how many of us, but at times it feels like being a child of God, there is no hope. Because the people out there, they are making it more than us. At times as young people, it feels that way. Ninaonge ukweli ya mawongo jameni watu wa mungu. Does we, do we feel at times like, like losing hope? But scripture says when the eyes of understanding are opened up, we are able to see what is the hope of his calling. And scripture continues telling us in 2 Peter chapter number 2, verse number 1, that you are a royal priesthood, uh -huh, a holy nation, God's own people, who are called out of darkness into his marvelous light. We are called out of what? Darkness. And that is the hope that when the eyes of our understanding are open up, we are called out of darkness to his marvelous light. And Jesus comes and says in John chapter number 8 and verse number 12, that I I am the light of the world. Buona sana. And therefore, when you receive Jesus, you receive light. When you receive Jesus, you receive hope. Look at your neighbor and help me, help me preach to them and tell them, neighbor, when you receive Jesus, you receive hope. Look for another neighbor and tell them, neighbor, when you receive Jesus, you receive hope. You receive light. Blessed be the name of Jesus. 
Therefore, I pray for us because we have Jesus. May the eyes of understanding be opened up. May we see the light at the end of the tunnel. May we see the light at the end of the tunnel. Many are the frustrations that we go through. Many are the disappointments that we go through. I pray for us in the name of Jesus. Maybe you walked in this place feeling uh, you're just about to lose hope. I pray in the name of Jesus. May you receive light in the name of the Lord. Let's go back to our scripture because of time. What is the hope of his calling? The benefits, when the eyes of understanding are opened, we, is, we get to know the hope that we have. Verse number 18, that's where we are. Verse number 18 of Ephesians chapter number 1. Ephesians chapter number 1, verse number 18. If you could give it unto us. Uh -huh. Number 2, what are the riches of the glory of his, of his inheritance? Let us read it together. One, two, three. What are the riches? Therefore, when, we, when the eyes of understanding are opened up, we get to know what are the riches. What are the riches of the glory of his inheritance in the saint? Gonga Jirani Mwambie neighbor. There are riches. Come on, look for another neighbor who looks like they're, they're receiving the word and tell them, neighbor, there are riches. There are riches. Buona sue sana. Scripture says in Ephesians chapter number 1 and verse number 3 that blessed be God and the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ who has blessed us with every spiritual blessing in the heavenly places in Christ Jesus. There are riches. There are riches. And one of the riches that we have as children of God is the relationships that we have. Relationships that we have, they are our riches. Look at your neighbor and tell them, neighbor, our relationships, they are our riches. It is so unfortunate that we live in a world where we have been stirred up to be careless. We call it savage. That we no longer care about people. We no longer care about the hearts of people. We no longer care how we talk to people. We break the hearts of people even here in church. You see, God expects us. God, you can write this down. God, ex God expects us to be faithful stewards of every relationship that we are in. And when I mean relationship, I mean our friends. I mean the people who are around us. But still, it trickles down to the romantic relationships that we are in. Look at your neighbor and tell them, neighbor, be a faithful steward of that boyfriend, of that girlfriend. You see, there are people... <laughs> Look at your neighbor and tell them, let, tell them, tell them, tell them, tell them that may they be a faithful steward. Talk to your neighbor and tell them, be a faithful steward. She is your riches. Relationships are our riches. I was telling a friend of mine of a story of how two years ago my mom was transferred to some place called Garbatula, the end of the world. She was transferred there. And now it was such a sad place. It was such a, such a sad situation because being transferred in your old age, Pastor Beatrice can tell us if right now she's sent to Garbatula, that will be trauma. So she had two options, either to resign or to go for the transfer. Then this is what happened. One evening when we were watching news, the president was, uh, was uh, they were getting in new officials, new T TSC officials for, for the TSC. And then when they were looking there, there's the name was being shortlisted. They saw a name and they had, I heard them talk. And they're asking each other, uh, who you see, Nani? And now apparently this person who they are talking about, they had uh, stayed with him when they were early married, just when they got married. That person left, uh, he was left by his parents. He became an orphan. He was an orphan and therefore he did not have a place to go. And you see, being newlyweds, Roba can tell us, hosting a third party, because you want to repay. You want to do it in the kitchen, in the bedroom. And you know, in those days, hata kukwana. Ah, jameni watu wa mungu. That is me trying to imagine that what a sacrifice it is to host somebody when you are newly married. Ah, jameni. Hata kifika masa ingino na wambi, hey, guys, you need to go, you know. And they had not met 30 years down the line. They saw him, and therefore through the networks, Ushago, they called him. And they told him, man, it's bad. They had not talked to him for how many years? 30 years. No see. They had not seen him. They had not been in communication to he, with him. But this guy, 
is the one who saved the situation. The following morning, he drove all the way with his convoys to Isiolo, the end of the world. And, the, and he went to the county offices asking him, Nini ndiyo manataka ku amisha mama yangu? Relationship. 30 years down the line. Maybe someone you are seated next to you, you may not see, you see we are young people. We will move. Truth be told, in the next 10 years, Shiloh Worship Center will be here. But some of us will not be here. There are people who will be married abroad. There are people who will go to work abroad. Uh, there are people who will change counties. There are people who will move to open companies in different places. But take care of relationship, for they are our world reaches 30 years down the line. Look at your neighbor and tell them 30 years down the line. 30 years down the line. Maybe you are seated to someone, or you have people who you are looking down at. Let me tell you, you do not know. We read in scripture the story of Mephibosheth, who is the son of Jonathan. Over 50 years later, David saved him. Let us take care of our relationships. Go on, take care of, of your relationship. May we be faithful stewards. Leave your friend better. It may not work, baby, but may you be left better. Uh, I said it may not work. Not all relationships will work that we are in, but may you leave them better. That people who will come, it's so unfortunate. There are some of us seated here. We are the reasons why some of the people out there are depressed. And yet we are the children of the kingdom. We are causes of depressants. We are causes of abortions. Uh, we do not take responsibility. Of course, we are not encouraging fornication. But in case things go away, may we receive the grace to own up for our mistake. Because when the eyes of understanding are opened, we get to know that our relationships, they are our riches. You never know. 30 years down the line, you may meet that man who, did not, who was not your type in 2023. And in 2050, he will be more than your type. Come on, talk to me. Do I have people in church today? 30 years down the line, he will be more than you. In other words, today you may be the one who is up there. But you do not know. May we take care of what? Relationships. I know you're in relationship. I do not know whether you're in relationship. But regardless, take care of that relationship. They are your riches. Your son or your daughter may be a beneficiary of today. Ah... Uh, so that we can fix the nation. So that we can fix there. You know, we talk of Kenya being a Christian community. And this is the place where we have so many outbreaks, we have so many suicidal cases. Because Kenyan uh, church people, Christian nation, we are the causes of those things. Therefore, number one, there is hope. Look at your neighbor and tell them there is hope. Number two, <laughs> there is what? Riches. Let me, let, me, let, me, let me close up that with this point. It's so unfortunate that there are some of us, that there are families that are crying because we are the people who have come in and stepped in the place of their wives. And the fathers, the sons, the daughters are not able to get full attention of their fathers because of some of us. You see in Genesis chapter number four, verse number nine, after Abel was, was killed. God comes and asks Cain, where is your brother? And the question that Abel asks God is, am I my brother's keeper? And God tells him there is blood in our hands. It is so bad that some of us, we have blood in our hands. Emotional blood. We have intellectual blood. We have killed people. We have killed families. We have contributed into breaking of marriages. There is blood in our hands. Buona Svesana. And it is so unfortunate that the curse that Cain was given, it is that you shall be a vagabond. The earth shall not yield. You shall walk, but you shall not see what? Fruits. I pray in the name of Jesus. May the Lord remember mercy for us in the name of Jesus. Maybe you are here and you're in that place. There is no condemnation. How I pray for us. May the eyes of understanding be opened up that we may live right and believe a God who is the lifter of men. I said may, we, may our eyes be opened up that we may live right and believe God who is the lifter of men. 
Bwana's face sana. That there shall be no blood in our hands. We shall be clean people. It did not work, but I left you better. I left you better in faith. I left you thinking better. I taught you how to invest. I taught you how to dress. I taught you how to save. Are there people in the house? Bwana's face sana. You are a beneficiary or a victim of the number of people who passed in our lives. Bwana's face sana. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Because no man makes himself. Look at your neighbor and tell them you are not self-made. Who see to church, you are not self-made. You are not self-made. There is someone who contributed to you being how you. Ah, look for another neighbor and tell them neighbor. You are not self-made. There are, there are people who have contributed to you becoming how you are. There are some of us, you know I was brought up in Isiolo. No, you remember ya kuoga usiku na mchana. Hili kuanga. Maji ya itoshi jameni. But there's someone who taught me, man, you know, you have to, to, to shower in the morning and in the evening, you know, right? People have contributed to you being how you are. Wacha tuwache hape kwa sasa, tutaendelea. That point, as I wind up, we need to pray. That point is, give us that scripture. Chapter number 18 of verse number of Ephesians, chapter number one, the hope, the riches. Number three, it is the incredible power Verse number 19. Verse number 19, to be helpful. Aha, verse number 19 now. Verse number 19. Verse number 19. The incredible power of God. The incredible power of God. Let us read it together. And the word, the exceeding greatness of his power. Let us read it together. We get to know the word. The exceeding greatness of his powers towards us who do what? Who believe and scripture says in first peter chapter number one verse number three that his divine power if you could give it unto us we read it together that his divine power hey let us read it together uh -huh. through the dead uh -huh. I doubt, I doubt that which I, I doubt whether that it is it, it is but the, I'm looking for a scripture that is saying that his divine power has given to us all that pertains to life and godliness through the knowledge of him who called us by uh, who called us by glory and virtue his divine power has given to us everything that pertains to life and what godliness look at your neighbor and tell them neighbor his divine power has given to us all that pertains. Come on, talk to your neighbor and tell them, neighbor, his divine power has given to us all that pertains to life and godliness. Look for another neighbor and tell them, neighbor, his divine power has given to us everything that pertains to life and godliness not only the spiritual blessing but also the physical blessing he has given to us everything that pertains to life and godliness it is in his divine power that we are able to get riches it is through his power that we are able to get wealth it is through his power that you are able to get that spouse that you're praying for he has given to us everything that pertains to life and to godliness. Preach to somebody and tell them, neighbor, one more time as we wrap it up. Look at your neighbor and tell them, neighbor, he has given to you, he has given to me everything that pertains to life and godliness. Therefore, it is for us to just receive it, for our, the eyes of understanding to be opened up, that we may see everything that he has given unto us, that thing, the things that he has given unto us that pertains to life and godliness. Therefore, I pray in the name of Jesus for each and every one of us under the sound of my voice may the lord open the eyes of your understanding may the lord open the eyes of your understanding would you stand up on your feet and we pray for a few minutes as we wrap it up that the eyes of our understanding shall be opened up the eyes of our understanding shall be opened up the eyes of our understanding shall be opened up Blessed be the name of Jesus. And this is how we pray. May you, Lord, open up the eyes of understanding that we may see the hope. There are some of us who walked here hopeless. 
you're about to give up. You have been thinking of suicide. I pray in the name of Jesus, even as we pray this morning, may the eyes of your understanding be opened up that you may see light at the end of the tunnel. The second prayer that we are going to pray is, Lord, open up the eyes of my understanding that I may see the riches, the riches that are there in store for me in the name of Jesus. And the third prayer that we are going to pray, it is, Father, open up the eyes of my understanding that, Lord, I may know your exceedingly great power, your power that is able to heal, your power that is able to save, your power that is able to deliver. Would you lift up your voice uh, and cry out to the God of heaven that Jesus uh, open up the eyes of my understanding. Open up the eyes of my understanding that I may see, that I may see, that I may see Shakarabo I pray for each and every one of us. Uh, may the Lord open the eyes uh, of my understanding, uh, of our understanding uh, that Jesus we may know that Jesus you have called us from darkness into the marvelous light. Open up the eyes of our understanding that Jesus, we may know Jesus, that there are riches that are in store for us. Somebody cry to the God of heaven. There are those of us who are asking for clarity. I pray in the name of Jesus that as you call upon the God of heaven, may the light shine. May the light of God shine. May the light of God shine. There are those of us who have questions Questions uh, concerning uh, our spouses, uh, concerning our relationships, uh, as you call upon the God of heaven, uh, may the light shine. Rako shaka raba seketele mayanda, riko seketali mayanda. Father, I pray the name of Jesus. Uh, open the eyes of our understanding. 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 Rako shaka basa katala bayanda, riko zoko. Ariana Laba, Rico Soko Tele Mayanta, Rika Shakatala Mayanta, Soko Payanda Labo Seketa, Rika Shakatala Bayanta, Kurianda Labo Seketa Linama. I pray in the name of Jesus for the people, Raka Shanda Labo, and the sound of my voice from the back to the front. I pray in the name of Jesus. May the eyes of your understanding be opened up. May the eyes of understanding be opened up in the name of Jesus. Sheta, Rako Soko Tele Mayanda, Rako Soha Prayanda Labo, Shika Zakatala Mayanda, Rako Sakatele Mayanda Rabo, Shika Zeketala Bayanda. Father, open up, open up the eyes of understanding, open up the eyes of understanding, open up the eyes of understanding. Somebody call upon the name of Jesus, call upon the name of Jesus, call upon the name of Jesus. He is able to open up to open up to open up rako shakatalaba i pray as elisha prayed for his servant my god my father i pray for each and every young person at the sound of my voice that jesus the eyes of understanding shall be opened up yakaraba sheketele bayanda rako skatele mayanda rabo zikoranda labo shanda rako Sakatala Mayanda Rabo, Rika Seketele Mayanda, that we may be able to experience uh, His divine power, His divine grace, uh, His divine power, His divine grace, uh, His divine power. Yaka Raba Shako Zoko Telema, Rako Seketala Bayanda, Rako Seketala Ba, Shakatala Bayanda. People of God, understanding can only be gotten in prayer. Come on, cry out to the God of heaven. Cry out to the God of heaven. May you see opportunities. May you see opportunities. That business idea in the name of Jesus Christ, Rako Shandalabo, that you've been praying for, that you've been asking God for. I pray in the name of Jesus. Jesus, may the eyes of your understanding be opened up that you may see that you may get that idea in the name of Jesus. Kuraba Shanda Rabo Seketalina Maha Rako Seketalina Mayanda Rako Sakatalina Mayanda. Open up the eyes of our understanding. 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 Open up the eyes of understanding that Jesus Shakaraba Seketali Mayanda Rako Seketala Bayanda. We pray for light. We pray for light. We pray for light of God. Let it shine upon us.
Let it shine upon us. Shaka Raba Seketala Mayanda. Rako Zokotele Mayanda. I pray in the name of Jesus for each and every one of us who attended this service. May the eyes of understanding be opened up in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray in the name of Jesus. May we see opportunities. May we see opportunities in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for each and every one of us. May we see the riches that are there for the saints in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for those of us who walked in this place hopeless. May we receive hope in the name of Jesus Christ. Shanama Sakatali Mayanda. Yakorama Satali Mayanda Rabba Shandala Baseketele Mayanda. I pray in the name of Jesus. May the eyes of understanding be opened up that we may experience and know his power. That we may know his power. That we may know his power. In the name of Jesus. Father, thank you for your word. Thank you for speaking to us. I pray that Jesus, this word shall come alive in us. The Lord, the eyes of understanding shall be opened up in the name of Jesus. Receive all the praise and all the honor for you alone is God. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. God's people said amen. God's people said amen.